The Senate Committee on Ways and Means has garnered support to formally recommend to remove and prohibit Philippine offshore gaming operators or POGOs in the country. This comes six months after its chairperson, Senator Sherwin Gachalian, first released the committee report, but only got enough signatures just now. Ten out of 18 members of the committee signed the report, with some expressing their intent to join the debates once the measure reaches the plenary. The panel recommends to urge the executive department to work on the gradual phase-out of POGOs within three months months. This is to allow Pogo companies to undergo process for closure of business. But Gachalian says he will push for the immediate ban of Pogos. He has yet to talk again to President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. regarding the report, but he believes the president is concerned in the effects of Pogos to the country's peace and security. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung crime. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung, yung trafficking, yung scamming. No? Ito yung bagong trend na sa briefing namin sa mga executive session, isa sa mga na sagap ko, no? nagiging front ang mga pogo ng mga scams. So yung scam na nakikita natin, natin pogo, iisa lang. However, Senator Amy Marcos, who is a member of the committee, did not sign the report. She says she has yet to read the latest version of the report and wants to study it first. But the presidential sister admits she has concerns on banning pogos, stressing the need to ensure the prosecution of those behind its operations. Ang kinatatakutan ko eh malulusutan lang kasi alam naman natin mga malalaking tao ang nasa likod ng pogo, hindi lamang malalaking tao sa sindikato kundi sa ating pamahalaan. Dahil dito importante na talagang bigyan ng ngipin at uh, kapangyarihan ang, kung, ang sino mang uh, to, uh, huhuli ng pogo at baka, baka saan lang mauwi yan. Gatralian hopes to report the committee recommendations to the plenary next week before Congress goes into session break. Harleen Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.